Uh, very good evening to our viewers. Thank you for joining us tonight on the Evening Review. My name is Toivo Jabela. Tonight on the platform, we are joined by Sisa Namanje. He is a, a seasoned lawyer. He is a, a member of the SWAPO Central Committee and also a member of the Politburo of SWAPO. And uh, he's here to help us uh, unpack this debate that is going on still about whether the, the ruling party has a candidate for 2024 or not, and uh, if yes, how was that arrived at? Sisa, thank you for, very much for making time. Thanks to Ivo for calling me to come in. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. So, <clears throat> I think the before we go to to the party itself, let's start with uh, at the national level. Yes. Does the electoral <clears throat> electoral act of Namibia dictate to individual political parties how they must select? They are candidates for presidential elections before they are fielded and registered with ECN, or is that left to the parties themselves? Now, first, I think we should start with the Constitution under yeah. Article 28. Yeah. It makes provision as to how the President of the Republic of Namibia should be elected. Yeah. That is through universal, direct, and suffrage uh, uh, election. And it says that um, the president must be appointed in terms of the principles and procedures established by an act of parliament. Yeah. And parliament has enacted such an act, the electoral act you are talking about of 2004. And the key sections is section 72 and 73. Mm -hmm. Section 72 um, uh, provides the requirements for one to be nominated, yeah. when I say nominated, not by political party, nominated after the president have issued a proclamation in terms of section 64 of the Electoral Act, mm. calling up, opening up, calling um, nomination of candidate for the presidential uh, election. Mm. And uh, um, so that section says that one, first of all, you must be a, vote, uh, a registered voter. Secondly, you must have qualified in terms of section uh, article 28 sub article 3 in other words you must be above 35 years old mm. and uh, uh, thirdly you must then have um, been nominated in a prescribed manner mm. prescribed manner always means in terms of the regulations made by the ecn and there were regulations made in the published on the 1st of october 2015 mm. Uh, there is Form 17 that is completed by presidential candidate uh, nominated by uh, political parties. Mm. So the, uh, the, the act does not prescribe to political parties. You got to, to meet the requirement of nomination under Section 73, which includes the fact that a political party, they must be complete that form. Yeah. And that uh, nomination must be signed by an authorized of official or office bearer of a political party. In, in our case, it will be our secretary general. Mm. The form must be, be a, a seal of the political party. And the political party must have paid 20,000. And uh, the certificate of a registration of a political party must be attached. And the candidate who must have been registered as a voter yeah. must consent. That's all. Yeah, yeah. If the uh, form 17 has been completed in such a way and signed by an authorized uh, person of the political party we are done and mm -hmm. that is as far as party swapo party is concerned because internally we have uh, finalized uh, the congress in 2022 in november mm -hmm. our secretary general knows the procedures yeah. will be the person to be in in that form form 17. wonderful yeah. So then, um, yeah, now let's come to the party. Because yes. since Congress, we have seen a flurry of things. Uh, we've seen attempts by some party members like Jerry Akanjo uh, trying to say, look, uh, there ought to be another platform at which a candidate, must, a candidate for the presidential election must be formally endorsed. Um, that is now internally within the party uh, itself. But externally, on Monday, we had uh, Dr. Panduleni Tulaf, IPC, in this very seat, also sort of validating uh, those uh, concerns that uh, Netumban and Indaitua, uh, apparently there ought to be another process to formally uh, field her as a candidate. 
all these discussions, and I also uh, listened to Dr. Itura, and with greatest respect, there is a deep fallacy in his uh, submissions. They are devoid of any legal um, substance. Uh, first of all, and he also doesn't have a standing as a person who is not a Swapo Party member. I remember, um, yeah. political party established in terms of its own constitution. It has rules and procedure how it elects its officials. Yeah. Col the constitution and the rules and procedure collectively forms what we call binding terms, binding the party and members. Yeah. So it's an issue between members and the political party itself. Yeah. And in as far as SWAPO is concerned, there was a Congress in 2022, November. We elected our president, vice president, and uh, secretary general, and uh, deputy secretary general. Now, and this is the key thing. Yeah. In 2004, um, after 2004, the party realized that the extraordinary Congress that was, uh, uh, that was held in May 2004, I was there myself, mm. um, brought a lot of disunity and infighting. The party took a principal decision to find a new way to promote unity in the party. Mm. And that formula was to be achieved through new rules and procedures for electing office bearers yeah. and, gov and cadres to be deployed in government. So in uh, paragraph eight of those rules, it says the objective is to maintain unity in the party. Looking at the event of 2004, mm -hmm. the person who will be a candidate for the office of the president of the republic must be uh, come from the, the top four. Yeah. And it says that it must be the, the president automatically. It's the president. In the event the president cannot run, because like in this case, um, he has served two terms. The vice president must automatically. There does not need to be the so-called endorsement. No. Uh, those who are calling for an endorsement, they are just making those statements for atmospheric purposes. Uh, and they are being mischievous. There does not need to be. It's an automatic thing. Mm -hmm. It operates uh, by way of the provisions of the rules and procedures. And by the way, assuming um, our vice president was not prepared uh, or was unwilling to, to, to be the candidate, the mm -hmm. secretary general will be the candidate. But in this case, our vice president has been going uh, to reach, uh, from one region to the another. She's prepared. She's our candidate. There does not need to be any other decision, whether mm -hmm. by central committee, Polity bureau, or an extraordinary Congress. She is our candidate. Yeah. All what we are waiting for is the proclamation by the president in terms of section 64 of the electoral act. Yeah. Once it comes, our secretary general will put all the administrative steps in, in, in process and to have our candidate submitted to the chairperson of the ECN. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. So just to bring in the element, because um, I did, um, also asked Dr. Itula why, I mean, not me per se, but you know, th there are questions as to why he would be interested in internal swapper processes. And his argument is that he doesn't want to compete later with people who came to that competition through fraudulent uh, <laughs> pro see, processes. Yeah, you you see, I, I listened to, it's a, again an attempt to delegitimate uh, uh, to delegitimize our, our candidate. Yeah. Um, the fact of the matter, he doesn't have a standing. Yeah. The rights and obligations, the rights arising from the procedure and rules of, of swap party and the constitution can only be asserted in a court of law by swap party members. Mm -hmm. Assuming that, for instance, that our candidate is not a registered voter, or there was no completion of Form 17. Mm -hmm. Of course, another person who is not a Swapo Party member can challenge that. Yeah. But once we, um, in terms of our own rules and procedures, through the Congress, we have produced a vice president. The vice president in this case is the automatic candidate. Yeah. There's no question about it. 
it yeah. will happen whether they like or not. Yeah, yeah. And in fact, the danger is this. People in Namibia, they say, oh, we consulted lawyer. It is a serious debate. Yeah. You go to a lawyer who has argued in his life only a case involving um, a dispute of uh, ownership of a donkey. Yeah. You, on a serious matter, that you, you consult that lawyer and you come and uh, speak with authority yeah. on an issue serious like this. Yeah. It's a serious debate. So, um, so that this debate is irrelevant, it's a bad debate, it has no merit, it's bad. And whether people want or not, yeah. Swapo parties, we have demonstrated through these rallies that we are having. Comrade uh, Netumbo Nandi Deito is our candidate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything as far as Swapo party is concerned, we are done. The process is We are waiting for the president to yeah. issue that proclamation. And once it is done, she will be on a ballot paper and she will win the election. Yeah. Tell me, Sisa, the, is there any conflict between the, the document that Swapo produced after the 20, 2004 election, what we call, I mean, the Extraordinary Congress, which we call generally as the, the, the succession policy of Swapo, which details exactly what you're saying now. Is the conflict between that policy and the constitution of the party itself, which says that, uh, has that been incorporated into the constitution? Because it, the constitution, is, according to Dr. Itula, talks about the Swapo president being the automatic candidate uh, for national elections. And he, his argument is, and I just, I just took note again from that interview, he is suggesting that because Netumwa and Indaitwa, uh, you know, Rule 12 of Swapo doesn't make provision for automatic promotion. Uh, uh, therefore, that, that, the, the, there is conflict there, that uh, she is not president as is required by the constitution of the party. I listened with keen interest, um, but you should have exercised caution. Um, yeah. With greatest respect, Dr. Itura's submissions here were all over here, there, 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 and there. Irrelevant things. For instance, he was going out to Article 17, which has nothing to do with this matter, yeah. actually. Mm -hmm. That is a general right to participate in political activity. That's not the question here. Mm -hmm. Secondly, he wanted to tell people that he's speaking with authority that he uh, amended the Swapo Constitution in 2016. Swapo Constitution was never amended in 2016, yeah. first of all. Secondly, it's not amended by an individual, particularly an individual who didn't have a, a senior position in Swapo. It is amended by the Congress. It was amended in 2000, in 98, 2013, 2018, and 2020. So Mr. Swapo has no record of Mr. Dr. Itura having amended the Constitution, and he couldn't as a matter of law. Mm -hmm. Secondly, uh, with greatest respect, um, uh, the Swabo Party Constitution does not have specific provisions regulating how to nominate or how to who succeed who yeah. in respect of the position of the President of the Republic. Mm -hmm. Hence, the party is entitled to created rules and procedure. So the, the concept of conflict doesn't arise. The document is approved by uh, Swapo party structures. That's why at the beginning I told you the binding terms between Swapo and its members are the constitution and the rules and procedures collectively. Yeah. So the conflict they are talking about with greatest respect uh, 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 is self-created, is self-serving. So we, we are here, I'm here to show you that um, the this general statement uh, interestingly by non-members yeah. are of no consequences to us we are done there's no conflict the rule and please as journalists you must read that paragraph 8 paragraph 10 paragraph 53 of uh, our rules and procedures For it's very now. very clear hmm. and dr itura avoided it he didn't refer to Paragraph 8. He didn't refer to paragraph 10 if I listened well. Yeah. He referred to some and only halfway. 
Well, what do they say? Those uh, they say exactly that because they are there exactly to address the question as to who must be Swapo Party candidate for the office of the president of the republic. Yeah, those rules are there to address that, and they are telling you in your face, everybody, that it must be the president. Yeah, that's why in two thousand and nineteen there was not an over <laughs> because Comrade Hage has only served one term. Yeah. There was not an extraordinary Congress because we knew it must be the president. In this case, he can no more run. The rule says it must be the vice president. Yeah, yeah. And it's repeated for those who struggle to read, probably, and for those who struggle to grasp a simple thing, repeated in paragraph 8, repeated in paragraph 10, repeated in paragraph 53. Yeah, yeah. So... And um, uh, that's it. Uh, our candidate, and we do not need to explain ourselves. Yeah. Our vice president is an automatic candidate for the office of the president. Full stop. Period. Yeah. yeah. Tell me, sister, the, yeah. maybe history will also help a bit. Yeah. Um, since the inception of the, of the, uh, the succession policy, as I like calling it, yes. um, how has the party handled nominations for its uh, presidential candidates? So that we also appreciate how previous processes were were, were held. Uh, 2012, for example, and then 2017, if you like. I, I just told you, I just told you, after 2004 um, Extraordinary Congress, the party took a serious reflection. Is this the right way we are doing it? When the president of the party becomes um, unavailable for the office of the uh, president of the republic, is it the right thing to be opening up everybody through an extraordinary congress? The party uh, decided this is not the best way to preserve unity in the party. Mm. So it, the candidate for the office of the president of the republic must come from the top four, the most mm. senior members of the party, starting with the president. So in other words, the president, uh, for those terms, uh, there is no question when the national presidential elections comes up, he is the, he is the one there. And uh, when he's not available, he's a vice president. Therefore, mm. you remember in 2012, uh, Dr. Hage Geingo became the vice president. Mm -hmm. And when the term for Dr. Hifike Punya Pohamba ran out, yeah. those rules and procedure were already available. We always knew mm -hmm. that when Dr. Hage Geingo became vice president in 2012, uh, he will definitely be the Swapo Party candidate at the elections in 2014, November. Mm -hmm. And that is what happened. Was there uh, a, an extraordinary Congress? There was not. Mm -hmm. um, to no, Because uh, the rules are very clear. Yeah. And um, in t when the elections came in 2019, because he had only done his first step, there was no question as who would follow him. Yeah. He would be the candidate. And now, um, automatically, the, everybody knows, nobody needs to, to take a decision after the Congress. It is Comrade Netumbo. Yeah. Because, yeah. Because so we have handled it very well. Yeah. Because what surprises me, Sisa, uh, yes. is that um, prior to Congress last year, yes. the, the entire understanding for all of us, really, yes. including those of us in the, in the media, was, that, uh, was exactly the way you're explaining it. To yes. say that uh, if you emerge as VP, that's why the contestation, really, mm -hmm. the fierce contestation, contestation was around that position because it, it carried a particular purpose uh, in the context of that Congress, in the, in the context of the fact that President Hage Gengob is now about to leave office. So I called uh, all the three candidates individually to this, to this platform, spoke to them, and each of them gave a plan for what they would do for the party as vice president mm -hmm. and what they would do for the country, meaning mm -hmm. that they understood it to mean yeah. exactly that uh, it will make them the automatic candidate also for the party, for the party in the national election. So, so wh where does this confusion then come from suddenly after the Congress? Yeah, you see the, uh, some people thrive very well in politics when they cause confusion, when they tell lies, yeah. 
when um, opponents are blackmailed, they think that um, uh, in that way they will thrive politically. Yeah. This campaign of questioning our vice president's um, candidature for the 2024 presidential election is the same old trick by uh, disgruntled politicians. Um, it's not something new. Um, it, uh, it's bitter losers. Uh, uh, so um, that is the only reason. It, it doesn't, that's why I said a few months ago that there is no iota of ambiguity that who is a candidate for the Swapo party. It's very clear. Yeah. We don't need to be debating wasting time. So it's a debate that with greatest respect must not um, uh, obtain priority in terms of new news in our society. Because in any way, it's only few individuals who are um, propagating this uh, fallacy. Only mm. few individuals. Of course, there is a small segment in the Swapo party. And um, we'll debate on another day as to why they are doing that. Some are saying we need uh, another Congress. Some are saying even a central committee of, uh, we must take a resolution endorsing. We are not going to do it, by the way, because our candidate, there's no question about it. Mm -hmm. So we are going to make sure that uh, we mortify, we demean, we discard, we, we destroy any attempt through this public uh, propagation of lies, um, any attempt to be putting our candidates, presidential candidates, uh, um, in doubt. Mm. So um, it's, it's a non-issue. And uh, with greatest respect to Dr. Itura in particular, I think he must concentrate on his political party. When there were questions as to how one councillor was uh, inserted in the list at uh, Windhoek Municipality, with swap of members, we have no local standard to be questioning the internal procedures because that's not the way we win elections by blackmailing upon political opponents. Uh, so I think um, you as journalists, and I want you to tell everybody, and I have broad copies for you, paragraph eight is, is clear, paragraph 10, paragraph 53. And yeah. every other person who is a rumor monger um, trading in rumors and gossips that uh, political gossips must please read those and because we are tired to be responding to nonsensical um, legal interpretation even by people with no rudimentary uh, knowledge in law. Yeah. That's why I'm saying um, interpretation by the way of constitutional prosecution is not uh, to prescribe a painkiller to a patient or whatever. It's a serious business, by the yeah, way. Yeah. Uh, therefore, I, I want to assure you that uh, we are on course to celebrate that first woman president in Namibia come March 2025 will be Dr. Netumo Daito. Yeah. There is nothing, no rumors cannot uh, displace that journey of ours that have already started so we are going to do that yeah mm -hmm. the, the final question very briefly mm -hmm. sisa is then um, i mean you you sit in platforms with the vice president um you must have attended some of her rallies and stuff like that how calm is she amid all this is she unsettled by this thing that oh maybe i'm I'm being misled here legally in terms of the interpretations or is or is she on the same page as yourself and everybody else to say look there's no ambiguity here if she was unsettled she would not have already already in february this year the Polity bureau where i sit decided and mandated her to lead leaders to from region to region to report on the outcome of the congress and part of it is really to tell them that uh, there, there will be elections come, coming to come 2024 and in accordance with the uh, party rules and procedure, the vice president will be the candidate if the president cannot. So she's not uh, unsettled. She's happy. She has a massive support of everybody in the party and on the ground. You have seen yourself and uh, we, I have attended. In fact, I attended the first rally in Katima 
So she is already planning. That's why she's doing engagement. Uh, she's a very good uh, note taker. And I can tell you, she is already working on her vision to continue with the legacy of uh, Dr. Sam Nuyoma, Hifige Punya Pohamba, and Hage Gengo. Mm. And she is working closely with those leaders, including um, our president. And she is doing it with the support of the Swapo Party structures, including the, our president, Dr. Hage Gengo. Yeah, wonderful. Yes. Sisa, thank you very much for making time. Thank you for inviting me to come here. Wonderful. Yeah. That is uh, Sisa Namanje. He is uh, a Swapo uh, Central Committee and Politburo member and also a seasoned uh, lawyer uh, coming in to interpret for us what uh, the party's policies and regulations say about nominating candidates. Thank you for watching.